that we developed right now is a library. It is a helper library that would help any other application to encrypt or decrypt files. So how did we get the inspiration to develop this library? Uh, well, in my personal experience, I have developed quite a few projects, uh, enterprise level projects or bank banking applications where uh, encryption of files is not the main motive of the project. The main motive is implementing some different business logic. But because of security concerns, what happens is that uh, the files that are stored on the device, they need to be encrypted and not accessible to any other application or viewed by other users. Uh, so developers developing these applications spend a lot of time implementing encryption on their uh, in their application. Uh, so we plan to develop this library uh, that would encrypt or decrypt content uh, in an easy way for these applications. So I would like to state that UI was not the main motive. So please forgive our user interface. Okay, going on. So let's look at how we can encrypt files to our application. So this is a file system. Uh, I go on and I go on to the LG and try and encrypt the file. support three modes. One is the asynchronous mode, the other is the synchronous mode and the third mode is the service mode. So what, what do these modes mean? So the asynchronous mode, uh, our library, it, what it does is that it spawns a background thread. Uh, in Android terms it uses the async task to encrypt or decrypt the file uh, in the background and it keeps on relaying the progress messages to the user or the client application. Uh, then coming to the synchronous or the process that is written over there. So in this mode, the client can choose to implement his own thread and our library doesn't take the liberty to spawn a new thread to do the encryption or decryption. And the third option is using a background service. So what this option does is that it creates a background service. Uh, now, Many a time this happens is that uh, an application is encrypting a file and the user suddenly closes the application. So what happens is that that file get, gets corrupted and when it comes to enterprise level applications that is not tolerable by the user. So that was our inspiration for developing this feature. So what the service does is that until and unless the file is completely decrypted or encrypted the service will keep on running in the background and complete its process before quitting. So even if the application closes, the service does its task and only then it closes. Okay, so let's go and see. Let's encrypt it. Back and come back here to refresh the file system. We'll see 
that there is a decrypted file as well. Okay. Uh, now, I would like to state one problem that we faced when implementing this service. Uh, what happens is that Android has two types of services. One are bounded and one are started services. Started services uh, are not bounded to the application. That is, they don't give any progress to the application. Right? And they terminate on their own once they finish their task. And bounded services, they are bounded to the application. So the problem here is that if the application closes, the bounded service also terminates. But that would not be solving our problem, right? We are trying to prevent uh, the uh, we are trying to prevent documents from getting corrupted. So we had to use a combination of both a started as well as a bounded service uh, to make this happen. Okay. Moving. Let's try the async option. Excellent. Okay. Now let's try the third option, that is the async task option to increment to encrypt and decrypt this XLS file. Async task. Yeah. So again the file is very small. Let's decrypt the file system and decrypt it as well. So there, there is a docx that is encrypted. If you double click on that, let's let it read the word. Yeah, so the so word is unable to read the file format, and so it is asking us to select the file format. Now if we look at the same document that has been decrypted that the docx file is readable after decryption. So the encryption and decryption is actually happening. Similarly for the XLS. You see that Mac is also not generating a preview for the encrypted XLS. Whereas for the decrypted XLS you also see a preview on the icon. So let's not waste time opening them. Uh, so I will also like to take you through the architecture of the application a little bit. So can you open that PNG preview? So preview of this. Yeah. So this is how the application architecture is. So this is a client application. Now the client application has only a single interface into our library. That is the crypto manager. The client application will call a simple method of the crypto manager. If we can go into the code. Yeah. So 
configuration class, the client only need to supply these five or six parameters. One is the operation, that is the encrypt or decrypt operation, what is to be performed on the file. The other is the process mode. The, as we saw, there are three processing modes, the service, or sim task and sim run. So that process mode, mode tells that. Then there is a listener, in, uh, then there is a listener interface. So all the pro progress calls that are relayed back to the client are relayed to this particular reference. Then there is the input file path and the output file path and the most important that is the cipher object. This cipher object tells the client all about the type of encryption that has to be performed, the padding to be used, etc. Et okay, let's go back to that. So the crypto manager then calls the crypto scheduler. Now what this crypto scheduler does is that it lets uh, the library make multiple document encryption or decryption processes. So basically we have maintained a hash path here that would maintain references to all the operations that are in progress. Now depending on the type of operation, it calls the respective handler, the service handler or sync task handler or the synchronous handler. And all basically refer to one refers to the service, one refers to the actual or sync task and ultimately they refer to the same classes for their actual encryption and decryption. So that was all about the application. Also I would like to share the GitHub link, this project is